right guys, we're back. I got the car. Um, so I actually ended up purchasing the car during rush hour in Calgary and it was a nightmare because <laughs> I had to go get a bank draft. Um, I had to go get a bank draft, go test out the car real quick. It was rush hour in the middle of downtown. It took about two hours when it really should have taken no time at all, but it had to be done. That's the only time she was available and I didn't want anyone else to scoop, scoop the car, but I bought it and I'm very excited. Sorry, sorry, I don't have my dead cat on, so hopefully the wind doesn't affect it too much. But I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the car. I'm not gonna give too much away. I'm gonna do a better overview um, in the next couple of days when I have more time to thoroughly go through the car. I'm a bit busy right now, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little, quick little tease, I guess. That's right, you guessed it. I got a Mark V GTI. It is in, the owner kept it in amazing condition. Just amazing maintenance records, meticulously, meticulously maintained. She was actually also a detailer at Mercedes, so she kept really great condition. She was the single owner and the car is in awesome condition. So it's in the Volkswagen Tornado Red and it looks awesome. It also has like the red pinstripe there. I really enjoy that too. It's more prominent on like the black and, and gray, but the red pinstripe looks awesome. The headlights, I really like the headlights too. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I don't have a lot of time, but I'll do a quick little overview. And so it does have the Steelys on. These are the winter tires. These aren't the summer tires. So that's why they look hideous. She did purchase the alloy upgrade. However, I do need to go pick them up from a Volkswagen because uh, they're in storage at a Volkswagen in Calgary. So I'll pick those up hopefully tomorrow. It's completely stock, no mods ever done to this car. No rust and it is in awesome condition. Honestly, the, both, the best condition car I've probably ever bought in. Actually, you know what? I didn't notice this before, but we got a little bit of paint Flaking right. Okay, but I'll, I'll go over it in the actual overview. But yeah, guys, it looks awesome. Very excited. And of course, I did get the six speed manual and no DSG. All right, so yeah, I'm really excited, guys. This car is just great so far. I've been, I've only owned it obviously for a couple hours now, but I've already enjoyed it so much it has such great handling from what i've seen i really enjoy the turbo it just kicks in good it's quick it's definitely really fun quick car to drive um i've only driven it basically in in rush hour traffic and just a couple times showing my girlfriend it but so far i have really great first impressions and i'll obviously do a better uh overview and tomorrow hopefully i'll have time to film that um, and then I'll obviously do a, a first impressions video and then I'll end up filming a review. Um, but I don't like really filming my reviews until I've owned the car for about a month because I feel like I don't really know the car very well unless I drive it for about a month, maybe more. All my previous cars I've probably owned for about three months, three, four months until I do a review. Just so I know the car better inside and out and can give a better review than just quickly test driving one and giving my impressions. But yeah, guys, so this car is in just fantastic condition. Like I said in, the, like I said in my Civic, why I'm selling my Civic Si video, I needed back seats very, very much. I needed them because I have a puppy. And with the four doors, this car is so practical with a lot more space to, to have people in the back or a butto in the back, my dog. And it also has a hatch, which is just awesome, so I can fit even more stuff back there. This car just seems like a really great package. I'm a bit afraid of the maintenance because oh, coming from like Civics and Hondas, most of the cars I've owned have been Hondas, um, where, where maintenance is just unbelievably cheap. Having a, a German car is, is a little bit scary, but I'm not too afraid. Um, I'm gonna take great care of this car, obviously. I think I might, I think I might actually go to the dealership to get all the maintenance done just because the previous owner did get the maintenance done throughout its whole life at only Volkswagen so I may keep up that maintenance it will, it will really help resale value but we'll see we'll see but yeah guys other than that I don't have much to say I'm just really excited to make videos on this I'm sad that I lost my Civic Si but I'm definitely super pumped to pick up this car 
it just seems like a really great car and I'm I'm very excited to keep making videos on it. But on that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I just went through and edited like the, the intro part and hopefully it wasn't too cringy. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are as excited as me, probably not, but I hope you guys are excited. See you guys later.